Welcome back. I'm Dark Celtic, and this is Seath the Scaleless. Um, I was going to put on the Slumbering Dragon Crest again, mainly because I can. I'm not fully sure what the benefits of this weapon is, or what of the benefits of this ring, um, but it doesn't make my character make noise, so that's useful while recording and stuff like that. So, uh, that's why we're using it. Just because it's snazzy. And it looks cool. I mean, look at it. It's like, oh, that's a ring I would actually use in real life. It's like brown, and it's got a dragon curled up, and I actually wear that. So, we don't really have any other better rings to use. So, what do, right? What do? Um, I hate fighting this guy. Legitimately. I hate fighting this guy. Um. Oh, don't you roll off. Okay. One fire tempest. Could I get a second fire tempest? Or you can always do that as well. Did you roll off? Nope. But you'll knock me off naturally because, you know, that's how things go. <sighs> Even just one. Just one hit. Just one hit. I hate that. Okay. We may archer this guy down with, uh, like, an actual composite bow. Um. Ugh. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, let's see. What? Well, like, we have the composite bow leveled up at all. We do, but we don't have the arrows, do we? No, we didn't. I didn't think we did. Um, Evelyn doesn't deal enough damage right now. Oh. Combustion will, though. We can easily use combustions to kill them. Okay, let's give it a try. I should have just unlocked and uh, just ran for it when I saw that he had jumped. But you're fighting on such a slant that it's annoying. So, let's just get down here. Because you're still, like, you still got proximity effects on you. So, I mean, like, maybe if I use the Ring of Fog, these this ring would really be useful paired up with it. I'm not sure at all. It doesn't seem like it's a very hard ring to get either, so... Alright. Almost fell off there for a second. Okay, we can swap over to our Great Combustion, but I'm gonna leave it at Fireball first. Um... Oh uh, yeah, fireball is good for when he's first starting up. After that, it can be problematic. I want some of these flasks, man. Like these, this Estus flask crap that gives all that health back, man. I want one of those in real life. I think that'd be neat. Like a handcrafted bottle that looks like that. It's made out of green and it's like you know, it's got like lighting effects in it and stuff. So whenever you put drinks in it, it like glows yellow. That would be really cool. Alright, that was a little bit easier. <laughs> Oh, frame rates. Did you drop anything? No, he didn't. Loser. And uh, that gives us a little bit of... That gives us some spells to use, like the Great Combustions. Those will go good with uh, Versing Seath. But, uh... If we don't kill him our first try here. Uh, but anyway... Oh, ah, I shouldn't have ran. <laughs> I've ran across that so many times that, like, it, I'm just confident now. I don't even care anymore. I just run. 
But, um, I shouldn't have ran. Not for video's sake. Whenever I'm not filming, I just don't care and I just run. I rarely ever fall off either, but okay, that's fine. The one time I'm filming and do it. Oh, God. That's so annoying. So, yeah, next time we won't run just for the sake of video. Ugh. The one time. Eh, we have great fireballs and Tempest and everything back up now, so we can use that against, uh, frickin' Seath. Because they will deal, they will always deal more damage than this friggin' Halberd will. Unless Seath is weak against Lightning, which I don't think he is. I know he's, uh, strong against magic, so using magic against him is kind of pointless. And I know that I don't want his tail. I don't need that. I don't need friggin'. Yeah, I don't need it. So, that being said, the only reason for me killing Seath is to get levels for dexterity. And, that's about it, actually. For levels for dexterity. <laughs> Otherwise known as dexterity levels. Oh, I can actually jump from right here. Yeah, and I survive. Okay, that's cool. We will start doing that. Because typically I go a little bit farther and then jump. But yeah, we'll walk this time. But typically I literally, like, after killing him, I just run straight through everything after that. Because there's no point in not to. So, that's what we're about to go do. Uh, let's get lined up. Alright. There, now I should be able to run. Okay. Um, I guess I could actually use combustions to kill these guys. I don't really want to fight these guys. They do get trapped. Well, initiating the first seat the scaleless fight is always more important. Because after you initiate the first seat the scaleless fight, these guys are not as bad to fight. Because you can just run right by them. Um, I haven't ran through them in a long time, so. The first try, at least, anyway. Um, so let's. I think they get trapped in here if you do run through them the first time. Oh, pig head. I've got to take a picture of the pig head turning around. This is just silly. And kind of cool looking, so... I had to get the picture correct. I'll delete that later. But I think I got it with that third one. Yeah, I definitely got it with the third one. Alright. Did any crabs come with me? Oh wait, it's it's right behind me. Look at that. Howdy. Yeah, a crab got in here. I thought a crab would get in here. So target crab first, I guess? Holy crap, I don't deal any damage to the crabs. I think they're immune to lightning. Oh, they do die to this. Okay, so I'll just I'll just let Seath kill you then. Or end up killing you anyway. Okay, yeah, Seath killed you. Okay, fire damage to Seath. About to test it. Let's find out. Um Great Fireball. 585, that is decent damage, and I will gladly use that. Uh, not much damage to his hind corners, I guess you could say. Ah, uh, you gotta literally get it up on him. Okay, that's fine. We're still gonna do this real quick, so... Uh, 
uh, not fully sure what just happened there. Uh, but Fire Tempest worked out pretty decently. Drink. Because he's dealing that stupid damage. And, um... And one last one to finish him off. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode uh, when we go off to Gwen's area. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the game. <laughs> uh, some fun stuff with that. Um, where are we at here? Um, in a matter of two hours and thirty minutes I went from what um not having the four kings soul to having all of them um, I think I can just jump straight from the fire link shrine <laughs> So I don't have to travel all the way to the abyss and everything. I will be leveling up first, though. But yeah, that's pretty much the game. Um, you can beat this game with a soul level one. I'm going to be preparing, build, doing that soon. I'm gonna see if I can't get to like soul. Um, uh, what's it called? New game plus five with a soul level one. I'm really excited about doing this. It's gonna take a lot of training in my part, so I'm gonna take some time, do some PvP hang out and do those kind of things. Maybe upload some PvP videos of me hanging out and doing that. Um, a bit of my training, getting used to Dark Souls a bit more than what I am, because I still have some work to do, I guess you could say. Um, next episode is going to be what I consider uh, Dark Souls cleanup. Um, and I may do the DLC content, but I don't think I'll film the DLC content. If I film the DLC content, I'm going to do it on a different character. Actually, yeah, I could do a reaction. Because I haven't touched any of the DLC content yet. At all. Um, so I could do a reaction series on that, couldn't I? Yeah. I'll probably do a reaction series on the DLC content for me, because I really haven't touched it. But I don't know if I'll use this character. I may revert back to a different character. A stronger character. Maybe. Maybe I'll use this character. I can do a lot with this character. Anyway, let's do my final level ups and uh, go through the little bits and pieces of this last bit. Um, almost have level 30. I have 22 souls left. We can at least get one more. We don't have any other souls to use? Are you kidding me? Wait, how much do I need? Do I need like a thousand? If I need a thousand, I know where to get it. Nah, it's a bit more than a thousand. Mm -hmm. Well, you will you be useful to me because of the thousand you're already going to give. Lightning beats aluminum, baby. So we'll just run up here. Um, did I kill Ornstein or Smoke on this character? That's something that I won't be able to find out for a while. I can go over here and find out, but uh, neither of them matter. Um, I was thinking about buying stuff from him. Maybe. Is that enough? That is nowhere near enough. Um, find out if the rat will give me an extra little bit. Is the rat enough? Maybe the rat's enough. It is nowhere near enough. 
Um... Hmm. Don't die. Not here. <laughs> okay, good. I've actually never fallen off right there, which is a happy thing to say. <laughs> Purchase items. What do you got for me, buddy? What could I buy? Ah, I killed Smoke first, naturally. The Golem set. The Golem set. Stuffs. He sells stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, that is a shame, but no matter. No, come not every building. Oh yeah, you do sell something very important for me. I don't want to kill you. Or do you respawn in the next bit? Like, I actually don't know what you do. I'm going to go Google you. I will be right back. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode when we do the cleanup episode.